So earlier we saw two things. One of them is that most of the characters match themselves and that dot can match any character. What if we would like to match one of these? So they are all two pound signs and between them either A or B or C or D or E or F or the at mark or the dot. Nothing else. One of these. So for that we are using what we call character classes. In the regular expression we have the pound sign, right? So that's because we want to match that. It just It's not a special character, we just want to match that one. And at the end also. And in between we have a square bracket. This is what says character class. And within the square bracket we have the exact list of characters that we ac accept here. So that's A, B, C, D, E, F, the at mark and the dot. And this character class would match exactly one character that's one of these. So let's go over the examples. In this case the, the pound sign matches this. The Q, there's no Q in this list, so the Q doesn't match. So this example won't match the first one. In the second one uh, the regular expressions first would try to match this pound sign to this one and the Z to the character class, but there is no Z in the character class, so this part will fail. And then the, it will try again and match the pound sign, the first pound sign here, and the A will match the character class because there is an A, and the second pound sign will match the, the one here. So this example, the second input, will match. The third example will also match because the pound sign matches pound sign, the dot matches here dot, and the pound sign matches again. But something strange here. Earlier I mentioned that if I want to match a dot, then I have to escape it, otherwise it would mean any, mean any character. Not in a character class. In a character class a dot is just a regular dot. It doesn't mean any... it loses its special meaning inside a character class. Then let's look at this one. Think about it for a second. This doesn't match, right? This doesn't match because we say here we want to have a pound sign that matches and the next character should be one of these. And there is no such character. The character class always matches one character. This case it matches because the A matches here. This one doesn't match again, and this doesn't match because we need a, one of the one of the letters or F sign or dot here in the middle, and not a pound sign. So that's how uh, how a character class works. Now, because we are lazy people and we don't want to write all these letters A B C <coughs> D E F, we have a short short way to <coughs> write this. A dash F. So you can see that the dash has a special meaning inside a character class. If I go back here, I haven't actually matched, mentioned the dash because the dash is not a, a special character outside of a character class, but inside a dash, if it falls between two characters, it means any character between these two, between these two based in the, on the ASCII table. So this regular expression has the exact meaning as this one above.